Welcome back reloading enthusiasts. This is part two in my attempt to make 10 millimeter reloads for the Glock 20. In my original video, link in the description, you'll remember that those rounds were wildly inaccurate at 25 yards with several of them keyholing. I was hoping to cast lead bullets with powder coat for the stock lock barrel as I'd done it in 9 mm with great success in the past. No fouling, no adverse effects, and pretty good accuracy. However, the velocities and pressures you're pushing a 10 mm out simply smear the powder coat straight through the rifling. Now I'm not saying it can't be done, I'm just saying I don't think I can do it. Well, we might as well go do some exploring. So this left me with two obvious choices, one being order an aftermarket barrel so I can continue to cast my own bullets, or order bullets online that are jacketed. Well, because I really like casting bullets, I went ahead and just ordered a Alpha Wolf barrel from Lone Wolf. As of late 2017, that set me back about $130, something I kind of cringed at. For this range session, I'm using an identical load to my first video. Powder, powder charge, bullet weight, bullet size, brass, everything's the same, except I went ahead and made two batches this time. 50 rounds of lubricated bullets with liquid a from Lee, and 50 rounds of powder coated bullets once again with two coats of powder from Harbor Freight, just the red for whatever that's worth. The uh, lubrication on the liquid Alox bullets is coated on pretty thick. The nozzle on the bottle was clogged and uh, well things happened and I ended up putting way too much lubrication on the bullets but that's okay because even though I was expecting to get quite a bit of this lubrication smeared on the inside of the barrels uh, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with the results I get out of the Alpha Wolf barrel. Another major bonus that's not really highlighted much when people talk about the Alpha Wolf barrels is for reloaders, especially in these higher pressure calibers. The Glock bulge on a 10 millimeter cartridge after it's fired is quite substantial. In fact, in my last video it was uh, kind of an eyesore on the end clip of the rounds. However, the tolerances between these two barrels is so different that at a glance I thought maybe they sent me the wrong caliber because the fully supported chamber of the Alpha Wolf it looks like a smaller caliber side by side. See the Glock on the left, Alpha Wolf on the right. This is important because when you're resizing brass and firing it, rinse and repeat, it puts less pressure on the brass, you get less metal fatigue. So you should in theory get more reload cycles out of the Alpha Wolf. I'm going to shake these two rounds in the chambers. These are identical rounds. Listen to the rattle trap on the Glock. There's the Alpha Wolf. Here's the Glock. Yeah. Talk about saving your brass. Glock certainly didn't have reloaders in mind when they made their barrels. Can't say I blame them, but it's just something you should know. In my original video I had a few hang-ups, mostly just failures to feed. Now remember these are identical loads. And today I fire a total of about 70 rounds, 50 out of the lone uh, Alpha Wolf and uh, 20 out of the stock Glock. No malfunctions whatsoever. The pistol was clean and lubricated before I came to the range this time. Now, the Alpha Wolf has what looks to be a smaller feed ramp and even with the tighter tolerances going through those 50 rounds, and these are semi wad cutters, didn't have any feeding issues. That was nice, pleasant surprise. So in my last video I left that day kind of demoralized with the inaccuracy of the pistol and also being unsure if it was me, the pistol, or both. So we're going to go ahead and start out with some warm-up shots. I'm here at 25 yards. I'm going to be standing this time and I'm shooting an MMP9 Pro 9mm target pistol. I did carry this pistol for two years and I actually got pretty proficient with it in my own opinion. Uh, this is the pistol I take and shoot when I get tired of missing stuff. But mostly I'm just throwing these warm-up shots here to show you guys that, yeah, I can shoot a pistol at 25 yards. So if we have accuracy issues, uh, it's probably going to be related to anticipating shots, flinching, uh, or the sight simply being offline.
having not shot this pistol in about a year, I was worried that maybe I would have completely forgotten how to ride a bike. But, hey, 25 yards, I'll take that group any day. Obviously, this is just target shooting, not defensive situation, of course. But I enjoy just shooting and getting bullseyes as often as possible. I don't know if it's the sights, the trigger, overall build of this pistol, but I've always just shot this pistol really well. Lubricated cast lead, stock lock barrel. Ten shots, 25 yards. Those are all over the paper. All right, powder coated two coats. This bullet's unsized, so it's dropping whatever it is out of the mold, which it claims to be 0.401, and then adding powder coat's gonna increase that a bit. And as you can see, the results are pretty much identical to the first video. I was going to attempt to count the hits on paper, but after seeing at least three keyholes, I decided that that was pointless. That was 20 rounds in total, 10 rounds of the Lee liquid Alox, and 10 rounds of the powder coat. Let's go ahead, put a new target on here, and try again with the Alpha Wolf. All right, we got the Alpha Wolf from Lone Wolf, I guess. <laughs> Not really sure what to call it. Do I call it a Lone Wolf barrel or do I call it an Alpha Wolf barrel? It said Alpha Wolf on the packaging, but I thought Lone Wolf was the name of the company. Whatever. We got the new barrel. We're going to start out with the lubricated rounds. Lee Liquid a locks, Essentially the same as my powder coated rounds, but without powder coat. And apologies, a, a couple of the clips from the head cam, the color tint got kind of weird. I have no idea why it was a nice cool day and really comfortable to shoot, but eh, it happens. Nice little pop to those. Go check out this target real quick. And this is where everything in the video starts to surprise me, pretty much not going as expected. Which goes to show, the more I learn about firearms, the more I realize I don't know about firearms. 
Now those two keyholes on the bottom were just left over from the last shot. I didn't bother to cover those up. But we got 13 out of the 15 rounds on the board, and the group size looks to average in the majority of the group to be about 5 to 6 inches at 25 yards. Now, obviously not spectacular, nowhere near my 9mm, but I'm going to put this up to probably shooter error because the vast improvement between the two barrels goes to show that the Alpha Wolf is certainly doing its job and these were the Lee Liquid Alox bullets. These were the ones I was expecting to not really do as good. Goes to show what I know. Let's go ahead and move on to the powder coated rounds. I guess the sights are going to need a little adjusting. Alright, so real quick, that was where Pretty much the dirtiest things I could send through this barrel, being uh, liquid Alox. Let's check it out before I send the powder coated rounds through it. Oh wow! How <laughs> sweet! Guys, I wasn't expecting this. I was expecting to see a lot of that lubrication, but this barrel looks like I didn't even shoot it. I'm serious. Those were like the dirtiest, li a thick coat of liquid Alox and uh, shooting red dot. Now I don't know if you can see it. I'll try and get you some close ups when we're all done. But it looks like I didn't even shoot anything. The stock lock barrel that I just took out of the gun, you can barely even see the rifling. It, it was so fouled after just 20 rounds, completely unshootable. That's impressive. I'm gonna really concentrate with these next rounds and just try and get a, the tightest group I can. I'm standing 25 yards, 10 millimeters, got one hell of a kick. Um, I'm just gonna see if I can improve what we got right there a little bit. There we go, full mag, 15 rounds. Two coats of powder. See if we can get a bullseye. Heavy pistol, man. My arm's getting tired. Now, before, as I mentioned, being surprised at the results oh, I got, shit. not that I was expecting the liquid rounds to be inaccurate. I was expecting the powder-coated rounds to be more accurate. That was not the case. Oh. The powder-coated rounds in both barrels are wildly inaccurate, okay. but I think I know why. Well, I think the bullet's simply too big. See, these are already dropping at .401, which is just slightly larger than bore diameter. And when you're doing cast lead bullets, that's normal, and it's what you want. However, adding two coats of powder coat without sizing the bullet, I think it's just simply too big, and it's causing this inaccuracy. So we're going to go ahead and try another batch in about a week or two. We'll have another video, and I'm going to size those powder coated bullets to see if we get improved accuracy. I fully expect that we will, but I have been wrong before. Now here I'm at 10 yards, and I'm going to shoot five rounds of the liquid. Here's the first group, and they're going to be the top group. Pretty good accuracy for 10 yards out of a 10 millimeter for somebody who's new shooting it, in my opinion. And then after these five rounds, we're going to shoot five more rounds of the powder coated bullets. You'll see that we do have a few really accurate 
rounds and a couple of bullseyes, but the consistency is simply not there. Here go the powder coat rounds, and you're going to see there's a wild flyer to the left. Uh, we had a slight bullseye, another close bullseye, and then one through the same hole, and then another wild flyer to the bottom right. So we'll see how that goes. Now here's the barrels at the end of the day. First the alpha wolf, and look at that. These dirty rounds and it looks like I was just firing jacketed rounds. To my own eyesight, in my opinion, it looks like I wasn't firing cast lead bullets at all. Now here's the Glock barrel after only 20 rounds. And you can see where the bullets have essentially smeared lead and powder coat and probably liquid alox all over the inside of the lands. So the polygonal rifling just does not agree with my powder coat method. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm just going to follow up with some quick... Uh, shots out of my <laughs> MMP Pro 9. I really like this gun and it helps me feel good at the end of the day when I can get some accurate shots <laughs> after shooting bad groups. Now in my next video I'm probably going to really try and focus on accuracy. As a matter of fact I don't think I'm going to end this series until I'm getting consistent bullseyes at 25 yards within reason of course. If I can get a group that's comparable to this 9mm group at 25 yards, I'm gonna be happy. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Stay patriotic, stay safe, and God bless. Just doing what I do